<sighs> Where do I begin? So first of all, I'm soaked. It won't stop raining in Kotal and I just had to do a journey on the scooter. So that's good. Crying, that's also good. Hello everyone, my name is Christiane. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. Hi everyone, I'm Christiane. Welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I am currently backpacking around Thailand. I'm currently in Koh Tao. I have been backpacking with my boyfriend, Jeremy, who is no longer my boyfriend. And that is what this video is about. How good. I was considering keeping this story, let's say, you know, personal and to myself, but the reason I'm sharing it is because I think it's quite relatable and I hope that it can potentially help someone else out who might be in this situation backpacking. And also I'm not about to talk shit about anyone. I'm fine. Yes, I'm a bit emotional, but like I'm fine. And so I feel comfortable talking about this. So Jeremy and I have been together for four months, obviously not like a whole lot of time. We met in Turkey, in Istanbul, uh, right at the start of my backpacking trip there. We actually met on a bar crawl and then we traveled all through Turkey together. Our relationship moved really, really fast, but we were both really, really happy and I loved everything about it. And so that trip was about five weeks long. And then we both went our separate ways, but decided that we wanted to stay together. He had a trip previously planned in the Caribbean. So he went there. I decided to go to Egypt and learn how to kite surf. And then he went back to his family in France for Christmas. I went back to my family in England for Christmas. And then he flew to England and met my family. And then from London, we flew together to Thailand and had plans to backpack through Thailand. And backpacking through Thailand just didn't feel the same as what it did in Turkey. Neither of us were clicking as well as we did, let's say. Um, and it, yeah, it just didn't feel the same. I know that I wasn't exactly happy with how things were going, but I think in my head, I always just thought that they would go back to what they were in Turkey. I guess I was just hopeful and when I decide to commit to someone, like I really decide to commit to them. And I think I was paranoid because although I knew I wasn't happy, I knew I wanted to continue. Um, but sensing that he wasn't happy either, I was paranoid about where things would go. And two nights ago, I guess was breaking point, let's say. We went out for a drink. I really wanted to get to the bottom of the problem, let's say. Um, to try and work through it. But Jeremy told me that yes, he wasn't happy and that he wanted to separate, to go separate ways. And I was really surprised because although I knew that we weren't happy, I just didn't expect it to end right there and then. So I was surprised and sad, but also relieved knowing that we weren't happy and that this was the resolution. I just wasn't expecting that to be the resolution. And you know, I think it's kind of almost sadder because neither of us had done anything wrong. Like neither of us cheated on the other. We weren't a bad partner in any way. So I have no reason to hate him. I think it would be easier moving forward if he'd done something really bad and I just hated him and was like, screw you, moving on. But obviously that is not the case. And so, it, yeah, it, it makes it hard. And we both agreed on that, that it is harder that we don't hate each other, but we are going separate ways. So this was two nights ago and he said he would, you know, leave the island to give me some space. Like Kota was a small island. It would be a bit strange if we, stayed on it together but his ferry was only this morning so he did have two more nights in Koh Tao and so we actually ended up spending all of yesterday together and it was a really really nice day we went to the Koh Nang Yuan island I think you've already seen the vlog for that did you know we'd split up at that point but you didn't or well, maybe you did I don't know and we went out for food and drinks in the evening but obviously just as friends and we both had a really really good day and then but you know the decision still stood we were breaking up we both 
knew that we were both in agreement of that but then that me saying goodbye to him today very very hard i dropped him off with the scooter at the ferry port we were both crying and it was raining like the ultimate pathetic fallacy scene you've ever seen but then you won't believe what happened next because i still can't believe it this was literally just like one hour ago and already i can very much see the funny side of this because it is just a comedy moment so there i am you know, quite tragically crying because I've just split up with my boyfriend and he's just left. And I did have a meeting with the dive shop this morning, but I didn't want to go directly there because I didn't want to rock up crying. And so I thought, you know what, I need a coffee. I'm gonna go to a nice coffee shop and just try and calm myself down. I was expecting to cry a bit more, but like, you know, just calm myself down and then I'll make my way to the dive shop. And so I did a little bit of research on my phone of where to go, somewhere that would be on the way, uh, somewhere which had like cozy seats, which I could just curl up with a coffee and just calm down and breathe, whatever. And I found this one on Google Maps that I thought looked really nice. <laughs> and so I drove there on the scooter and when I rocked up, it was full of Thai people. There was only like two spaces left. I walked in like, you know, looking a little bit overwhelmed, but they all looked at me and they smiled and they were like, come in, come in. And I thought, okay, you're coming. And I walked in past everyone, they all looked at me and I went to go order a coffee. I was like, can I have a cappuccino please? <laughs> like just trying to get the words out, but also just, I was a mess. I was an absolute mess. And the guy was like, okay, yeah. And then I sat down and the loveliest girl um, started chatting with me. And I just said to her, cause I was clearly crying. I was just like, I just broke up with my boyfriend. <laughs> and she was just like, oh my God, are you okay? She was just giving me the classic girl spiel, like men suck, don't worry. You're here now. You've got a friend in me. It was, it was really, really sweet. And she was really making me feel a lot better. And then the coffee came and the coffee was actually delicious. And because this was like a local place, it was a really local price. And I was like, wow, I've really found a hidden gem here. But then um, this guy started playing the guitar. Uh, it was like a kind of reggae tune about Koh Tao and everyone was bobbing along and they were filming it because he was making a YouTube video. He was making a music video in the very small cafe for his YouTube channel and they wanted me involved. <laughs> and the whole point of it was uh, like about how happy everyone was. <laughs> and they asked me if I could say, I'm in Koh Tao and I'm really happy. <laughs> And I was like, I can do that, I can do that. And I was just like, you can't make this up. As if, as if I've just broken up with my boyfriend and, you know, I'm crying and suddenly I'm in a music video having to say how happy I am. I mean, look, it really, it did cheer me up and I just thought like, what are the chances you can't make this up? And I was chatting to my new friend Boo for a while. She's a graphic designer from Bangkok, but has been living on Koh Tao for a couple of months because she just can't seem to leave. She just loves the island so much and she works online. And you know, they say everything happens for a reason and that you're exactly where you're meant to be. I mean, well, I mean, but yeah, it, it's kind of the truth. Like I think although that cafe experience is not what I had in mind for where I was going to go after the ferry port. It was exactly what I needed and it was a real pick me up. And then I went to the dive shop to figure out my diving for the next few days. I believe you've already seen the diving vlog though because I intend on posting that before sharing with you this news. So what's next? Well, I'm going to be continuing solo. <laughs> Which if you've been following the channel, you may know like that's fine for me. I'm very comfortable with traveling by myself. I've done it a lot. I genuinely, genuinely wish Jeremy all the best. We are still friends. We do not hate each other. We will be staying in contact. And yes, it is hard because it's very raw right now. And we have been traveling together so closely for the past few weeks, but I do believe that this is the best decision for us both. So I'm really relieved for both of us. And although today was an emotional day for us both, we will both be happier in the long run. It's a very adult way of looking at it. I feel very mature right now because I think it is easy just to be angry. I'm not an angry person at all. I don't, I think being angry is pointless. 
I like to find solutions. I like to look for the positive. I know that I will be underlyingly sad for probably a few days, but I do tend to get over emotional things quite quickly. Like already from the start of this video to the end of this video, I'm like, yeah, I think, you know, I think I'm over this. I think I'm good. This has almost been like a little bit of a therapy for me. Like I feel like I'm just telling you everything that's on my mind. Um, it's really making me feel better. Um, so, <laughs> I've got more to say, but I am starving right now. So I'm just gonna go for some food. <laughs> a really great thing and positive about this is that I don't have to feel guilty for working so much. Not that Jeremy ever made me feel guilty, but I, I did because I was traveling with him and he wasn't working online. This was just his leisure time. And you know, whilst I needed to work, I did feel bad. Yeah. We weren't entirely making the most of like where we are and traveling the whole time. And so now that it's just me, I can work whenever I want. I'm on completely my own schedule. I don't need to worry about anyone else. So that's a positive. I did just speak to Nikki, who's one of the owners of Summer Hostel. I went down to extend my stay and then she was just like, is everything okay, you know, other than the weather? And I just broke down. <laughs> and I feel like that's probably gonna keep happening. Like if people ask if I'm okay, like, although I do seem okay, I'll, be, <laughs> I'll just have a little bit of a breakdown, but hopefully that won't last long i feel like that's a very relatable thing though like you're fine until someone asks if you're okay and then you just break down oh boy oh it's gonna be a fun few days i went diving this morning which was a lot of fun and something that was probably just really good for me to do because just completely get my mind off of everything else though sometimes when i was in the water like our first dive was really really long i think you've already seen the vlog for this um the first dive was really really long so sometimes like my mind would just slip out but then i was like no come back to the present look at the fish how amazing are the fish but yeah i think it was a great thing to keep myself busy with diving had a bit of a wobble this afternoon but i'm just embracing it and accepting it that like yeah i'm not gonna be okay immediately but that's okay uh i had a really good chat last night actually with my friend will a video chat um he's very good at being a voice of reason <laughs> and my unofficial friend therapist helping me break down all of my thoughts and tell me why i'm feeling what i'm feeling and why what has happened has happened i really value friends who you can just vent to and they're just there to listen and to offer advice if they have any. I'm very lucky because I have quite a lot of friends like that. So although the situation right now is a bit shit, like I feel so grateful for my support network around me. Like super, super grateful. I'm just getting some work done now though. I think I've decided that I will leave in two days time. So I've only extended the stay two days to do a bunch of dives tomorrow. And then I will leave the day after. I know it, it could be very easy for me to stay on Koh Tao, especially because I've started making a few friends. It's a beautiful island, there's lots to do, and I do really, really like it here. But I do not want to get stuck in a rut and then just not get to explore much else of Thailand. It would be the comfortable thing for me to do to stay here, especially given the recent circumstances. However, I'm not someone who likes to stay in my comfort zone. Um, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave in two days time. I've, I've made that decision, but I do wanna try and finish as much work as I can in between diving before I go. Just so when I do get back on the road and I'm gonna start staying in hostel dorm rooms and trying to socialize and all of this, like I can fully dedicate a lot of time to meeting people and not feeling bad that I'm not working because I will have known that I've already done it. Does that make sense? Anyway. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time. Here it is. <laughs> 
my transport and accommodation for the night. I genuinely think that travelling solo is one of the best ways to get over heartbreak or to get over a breakup because you're so distracted, you're meeting so many people, you've actually got a purpose and you've got something to do and I've got to say already I feel good. I've had a couple of really really good days, I'm not feeling low and I'm feeling really positive. I'm feeling really positive about the future. So I'm now in Khao Sok National Park in Thailand and this will be, the f this is the first place I've come to by myself. It was a very smooth journey actually. The boat was very rocky at first, felt like I wanted to vomit but I got through that and then after getting off the boat at 5am this morning just got a transfer bus straight to Khao Sok and I've arrived at the hostel at like 8am so it's early and I've got a day just to process things, I'm going to do some work, but yeah, everything is positive, I am okay, everything happens for a reason, please don't spread any hate messages, be very kind in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! Uh.